Hello everyone, this is Lucy McKenzie and at the Humane Society today we have a number of sweet, hilarious cats to get to meet. A few of our dogs as well too. And at the shelter here, we are always trying to bring somebody home. Now, this pretty little girl is Sailor. She's just a two-year-old cat and she came here because they don't like dogs. And by they, she has a companion in here. Her brother is this beautiful redhead right here. Are you gonna come up and say hi? And these two are a bonded pair, which means if you're trying to just fill your house with some beauty, these are the two for you. They're always curious, always playful. Um, this girl in particular, the funniest thing she loves to do is um, paw at windows when folks are going by to get their attention. And watching her tread water on a window is just comedy relief. But they're both beautiful young cats. And it's really fun. Cats, they can either like other cats or not. And to have a bonded pair is just a wonderful experience. Right before we came in to say hi to Sailor here, her brother and her were both snuggled up together, laying together, and finding a cat that can get companionship with another is just, it's just a beautiful thing to have at a home. Um, and these two, um, the only restriction they have on them, something to keep in mind is, as I mentioned, the reason that they're here is because they were petrified of the do Oh, look at that brother coming up close. Petrified of the dogs in their house. And so they're just looking for a dog-free home very friendly, good with kids, good with strangers, walks right up to people they don't know. Look at you. Are you going to make that jump? Show us your athletic prowess. Oh, you were jealous of your sister, weren't you? Would you like to smell me? Yes. But two beautiful tigers right here. I know she did not want to share you, did she? And if you're looking for a sweet, social, affectionate cat, these are the two for you. Oh, oh, really? Oh, thank you, thank <laughs> you. I am but your petting slave. That is all I am at your service. Oh, yeah, oh, Oscar. Aren't they just adorable? Oh, yeah. Here she is. Yeah. And I love that. I love that tiger stripe. This just tries to go to calico with a few other colors mixed in. They're gorgeous, gorgeous set of cats and so sweet. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yes, you just show off that long tail of yours. It's a super long tail. There you go, Oscar. Yeah. Hi. He wants to give a, a frontal view. Yeah. There, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at those whiskers. They're like four inches Thank bigger you. than his face. Your whisker party going on. Oh my gosh, hi Zena. Oh, the world is so exciting. The world is so exciting. This is Zena. She's our big hound dog. And a hound dog is the mascot here at Lucy McKenzie. And Zena here, oh my gosh, I have a small hound at home. And again, the riotous of laughter. Um, this girl, she is nine years old, if you can believe it. Oh, that's a cat. That's butterball. And she has so much energy, so much personality, so much enthusiasm. Oh. And a thank you. She has a fabulously um, deep bay and bark oh. to her as well. Oh. She oh. loves toys. Oh. She loves to go. She loves to run outside. And she's oh. just, she's just oh. a personable creature. Yeah. You want to go out to the yard? Let's leave the cat alone. Let's leave the cat alone. Oh. And speaking of cats, she loves cats. She loves chickens and they are not good for her. So she is a cat free, chicken free household is what she's looking for. And what do you think about squirrels? Yes on squirrels? Okay, okay. she says yes on squirrels in the house. Let's go outside and see you play. Oh, okay, you carry the toy. Gosh, you're so cute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, she got it, but she is just a fun, sweet girl looking for a place that has a big, comfortable bed, maybe a couch, maybe a nice sun ray in a grassy spot in the sunshine. 
Really. She's a simple girl to make happy. Oh. <laughs> and Zena here. Okay. Uh, hounds are, I'm, um, come on. Hounds are the entertainers of the world. Look, I, did you just bite your back foot somehow? Here, let me take your leash off so you can run around a little. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. She is, she's truly just a silly dog. That's what she is. A big, beautiful, silly girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, you tell that sloth. Oh, my gosh. What are you, an advertisement for cute giant hound dogs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, in middle age, she's definitely a mellower creature. She would have been a hilarious riot of a dog as a one-year-old. You would have been, you would have been so, so wild as a little girl, huh? Oh, this one, no idea on, on her hound background. Yes. But, yeah, you just started to go a little gray. Oh, there she goes. Oh, look at that belly. You know what they say, if a horse can roll over, it's worth 50 bucks. I don't know about a hound dog. <laughs> look at her, I mean, come on. Oh, my goodness, girl. You know, and as a hound, oh, let's see. You know, one of the main things is, you know, She's a good scent hound, which means she can follow her nose anywhere. So either a nice enclosed yard or just access to her dog park. She's, um, we use, let's see. Oh, she's learned how to walk on a leash since she's been here. So we use a harness and a walker on a leash right there. Oh, look at all that extra skin. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, there we go. Here about some wrinkles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, but hounds are some of my favorite dogs. Super affectionate. You ready to get it? And just so human focused. One, two, three. Oh, you're such a ferocious hound. Look at you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but a wonderful time of the year to add a pup to your life. Oh, that's that's just a lovely pose. Thank She's you, girl. A great um, yeah. actress today. I know she is. And um, let's see, as a hound here, let's see, here at the shelter, you know, she does have a good old bay on her. Um, but she's even, I didn't even hear you, oh, don't dig a hole in your sloth. I didn't even hear her barking until I actually pulled out the leash. So she can show some self-restraint on her big baying bark. Yeah. But if you're looking for a dog that will make you laugh, that all she needs is a little bit of sunshine, some toys, and a good comfy bed to lay on. This is your girl. This is your girl. <laughs> oh, here they come. These are, we are just filled with affectionate cats of Lucy McKenzie. And these two, oh my gosh, they are so eager to wake up and come say hi. <laughs> Let's see, this is Mittens right here who's <laughs> looking you right in the face. Uh, Mittens is a 12-year-old female. Her companion here is Tawny, who's just about seven. And like so many animals here at Lucy McKenzie, they're here for no reason at all that is their fault. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, they're here because their owner passed, which means they're just looking for a new home. Um, and a lot of people will work with Lucy McKenzie, make arrangements so that the shelter will be able to take care of their pets when needed. And these two are two cats that, that have been loved their entire lives. Um, and having two critters that already know each other, already love each other, is just, you know, it's a wonderful way to give back, not just to, you know, not just to the shelter, but also to the community, that idea that we take care of each other's critters, no matter what happens. And these just peaceful, loving critters here. Oh yeah, there's your close up. <laughs> oh yeah, and Tawny here. You are just a beautiful multicolored calico. One is hungry. Oh yeah, there she goes. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> but you know, young cats, energetic, you are. entertaining forces in a house. But two middle-aged cats like this, these are two peaceful additions to our home. Um, let's see, um, then um, no restrictions as far as dogs or kids. 
Uh, but the only thing, oh, they are on a special diet, so they're just on a urinary diet to keep crystals out of their urine, which is very super common in cats. But otherwise, they're just two sweet, easygoing cats looking to make a, you know, to make a house and apartment way fuller, way more fun, they're way more contemporary. Super calm. They're cats. so calm. Oh, there, oh, there they go. There you see that bonding. Okay, your tails <laughs> almost intertwined together. But curious, affectionate, peaceful. They're really, we have some wonderful cats at the shelter right now. Oh, hello. Oh, so yeah. Too. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not saying hi enough to you? Oh, it's my fault. Oh, yeah. I don't know if, you, if the microphone can pick it up, but this girl is just purring away. And if it's been a while since you've had a cat sitting in your lap and purring, it is, it is the most wonderful sensation. Yeah, where do you go? Too much tail. Look at you. Look at you. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you for thank you for claiming me as yours. <laughs> oh, and mittens. Um, those feet. Those are four little mittens for sure. Here she goes. Yeah, they're both big into the facial oh, they <laughs> love recognition. <laughs> yes. Oh, and they're just curling up or purling. You are just looking extremely Egyptian over there, aren't you, sweet Tawny? What a glorious girl. Look at the, she has these tiny little black tips at the very tip of her ears there. Oh, yeah. But she's still purring. She has not stopped purring since we walked in. Oh no, another sweet pair of cats. So if you're looking for a little bit of love, we got lots of choices. You know, our big hound dog is hilarious, but th this fellow, he's just our miniature clown here at the shelter. This is Tyson. He's here um, again because of housing. His family can find housing that they could keep him with. Um, he, I can never believe this, is seven years old. He has the energy of a super young dog, always, always watching, always awake, always waiting for that next thing that's going to happen. Um, if you're looking for, gosh, if you're just looking to, to smile every day, this is the boy for you. If you can get a close up on his face, the funniest thing on this fellow is he always has this glint in his eye, always this glint. And he has just tiny blue speck in one of his eyes that just makes him always look like he's up to something. Always looking like he's up to something. Let's see, he loves to play outside, he loves toys. Um, and let's go see what we can find you. You handsome boy, are you ready to run? Go, run! <laughs> oh, just a beautiful brindle coat. This little, you know, little tiny pity cross right here. Pure American mat. He's just a cutie. Hey, Tyson, did you find some grass to eat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me find a toy for him. He loves toys. How about a chicken? Hey, Tyson, what you got? Oh, Tyson. Oh, yeah, there's a close up. <laughs> Tyson, you want a toy? Oh, there's that glint in the eye. There's that glint. There's that fabulous glint. You want a chicken foot? You want a chicken foot. Are you ready? Oh, a snake? So many options. Go get the chicken. Oh, no. He's going for this. <laughs> I love how proud he looks when he catches a toy. He does that fabulous trot. That fabulous trot. Do, do we know about kids, cats? Um, let's see. On this fellow, um, the main restriction on him is no other dogs. He's just a, you know, a good dog, you know, hide. Oh, do keep away. Here we go. Um, let's see. No other dogs on him. Um, for kids, no young kids, you know, um, you know, up in elementary school kids, he would be really fine with. Um, and then cats. I can't remember on cats. I can't remember on cats. Would you love to have a cat? Oh, look at those smiling teeth. Would you love a cat? Oh, look, he's good with chickens. Look at that. <laughs> but no, he's a sweet, playful boy. You know, he sees a leash and he goes bonkers. If you want someone who is just thrilled, oh, look at the tail. If you're looking for someone who is thrilled to see you every time you come home, 
This is the dog for you. Oh, is that a snake? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. He's just so stinking cute. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, it's the it's the sparkle in the eye. It's a sparkle. <laughs> but no, I love volunteering here at the shelter. Getting to come here every week, getting to play with all of these dogs, getting to see just how joyous they are. Of course, how well killed, cared for they are, but getting them outside, letting them be, have some time to be more doggish, to play in the sunshine. It's just, it's a wonderful part of my week. I look forward to coming here every week, so. Even if you don't have the life that lets you bring a dog or a cat home, there's always other things you can do to help the critters here at Lucy McKenzie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at you go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I almost got the snake. I almost caught it. I'm like, you are so proud. Oh my gosh. You're funny. Of course, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Hello. If you're looking for a little bit of luck, this black cat is your lucky girl. This is Butter. She is, as you can see, a sweetheart. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> can we just say from the get-go, she is a lap cat, this girl is. Um, she's just a sweetheart, curious, loving. And, oh, let me see your color eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to play? They're gold. Oh, yeah, those brilliant gold eyes. <laughs> now, the thing about Butter is she is such a lovely cat that she's actually bonded with a cat while here. Um, her companion as another pair. Oh, there's the jump. Oh, yes. It's this beautiful girl right here. Look at that tuxedo, elbow pads, chin pad, you name it. You are ready to go. So what's this, one this is Bubbles right here. Bubbles and and the funniest things about Bubbles and Butter is Butter is the, so, is the socialite of the group and Bubbles is the observer. Every single time I walk by the cat room, Bubbles is always watching. She knows everything that goes on inside of the shelter. Um, she has the eyes and the ears here. Yep. And it's fun, you know, the, a couple of the other pairs we looked at, very similar personalities. These two are a fun mismatch of personalities. <laughs> you know, from a shy, shyer observer to this love bug right here. All right, where'd you go? <laughs> Come on back. Disappear. All right. You wanna, oh, do you want to play? Uh, uh, oh, these two, you know what? Let me check. I forgot how old these two are. Wow. Um, butter, oh, they're both yearlings. Oh, wow. There you go. Um, so they're just, they're just one year old. And to be this calm and to have this level of body control at one is really impressive. Sometimes one year old cats are still small, free demons. But, oh, oh, oh really? Look at you. you oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, she's going to get me. She's going to get me. How about you, Butterball? How about you, Butterball? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you are so cute. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Talk about having it up. That was a fabulous roll. It was a great roll. Oh, did I say I have a tennis ball? Yes. Oh, is that yours? <laughs> there she is. Happiness now exists. Everybody, this is Ginger. She's been here for a few months. She's a young, energetic two-year-old dog. If you're not looking for a lazy hound dog, Ginger is your solution. She, we're taking her out into the yard and she is a fabulous, wild runner, chaser, player. Uh, my high sweetheart. My nickname for her is the Jackrabbit. Um, she is such a fabulous little athlete right here. Um, let's see, she's here um, because the other dogs that she grew up with picked on her and, and um, got in fights. And so at this point, she is a single dog looking to be a single dog. Oh, how many tennis balls do you think I brought out for you? It's more than that, by the way. Mix, I think, right? Yep, and she's a pit bull mix. Yep. 
So a sweet little muscle, a sweet little muscle girl. That's what you are. That's what you are. Hi. Hi. Yep. Oh, and oh, at some point we're getting a good view of her amazing freckled backside too. Yeah. Oh yeah, there she is. Freckles all over her belly. Um, she has been so fun to have here over the winter and spring. Watching her leap, leap through the snow. Oh, it's just, yeah, pure, pure fun. Should we go play with some tennis balls? Yeah. Okay. Ginger, are you ready for your tennis ball? Are you ready? Oh, you already have one? Who needs another? You need another. Oh, just a beautiful creature to see in action. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look at the sunlight just shining through those pink ears. You're such a beautiful girl. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Jen? You got a tennis ball. Go get it. <laughs> and I've been trying to tempt her to pick up two balls at a time. I think she has it in her. <laughs> hey, Jen Jen. Oh, look at you. You're such a beautiful girl. Are you, are you teasing me with that tennis ball? She is really, really good at chasing tennis balls. Absolutely horrible at fetching them and bringing them back to you. <laughs> she is more of a hoarder and collector of tennis balls. <laughs> but a few years ago, we got a wonderful donation of hundreds of tennis balls from one of the local tennis clubs. And so we are swimming. Happiness is there for you. Hey, Jen, you ready? You ready, Jen? Let's do a long haul. Go get it! <laughs> Look at it! Do you see the little bounce in her backside? <laughs> when she gets really excited, she actually boings off of all four feet at a time, like a like a like a bunny or a or an antelope. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You just run. No, this is a girl that would just love a good daily dose of play. So no, and that's the thing at, at the animal shelters. There's always a different personality. If you're looking for energy and enthusiasm, if you're looking for quiet companionship, if you're looking for adoration, if you're looking for a clown, you know, we have it all. We have it all here. If you're looking for a frucko bellied fetcher, well, ball hoarder, then we have ginger hair too, <laughs> don't we? Don't we, you pretty thing. More tennis balls? Okay, I'll get back to work. What she got? What she got, girl? What's this one? Go get that one. Oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got your butt. Oh, I got it. You're such a good girl. There she goes. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too much sunshine for you, sweetheart? <laughs> but uh, she has some good full body humor, this girl does. They really are a wonderful, wonderful excuse to get out and about. Yes. <laughs> Isn't she hilarious? Look at her go. Look at her go.